What's up, Kimi fam? Welcome back to TV Nation. It's your girl, Tawana. And your boy, Vaughn. And we are back on the scene, back on the set with another video for y'all. A challenge. An exciting challenge, y'all. I'm very happy and excited about doing mm -hmm. this one. Yeah, we've been planning this one for a while, y'all. And um, I'm going to hurry up and get through the explanation because I don't want our food to get cold. This is the Order For Me Challenge put out by Tam's Table. We were challenged to do this video by Ace Eats and More Eats. We partnered up with Real Ralph and Mika Boo. So what you got to do is, matter of fact, I'm going to let Tam explain it. Let Tam's Table explain how this goes. You pick a partner. That partner gives you three restaurants to choose from in their area. You pick one of them and you tell them, hey, you're going to go here. I picked Olive Garden, Benihana, and this taco place that sells street tacos. And so, Shanette picked Olive Garden. She has to order four menu items. It's called Order For Me. Four menu items for me, and I go and pick it up. I did the same thing with her. I ordered four menu items from the restaurant of my choice, and she went to pick it up. And we back. So, we got some food here. We know where it's from. We gave them three restaurants and they chose Louisiana Fried Chicken and Seafood. I think that's the full name or something like that. But we don't know what's in here. We have no idea what's in here. So we're about to get this open and see, and see what's in here, y'all. And y'all be sure. Go ahead and say what's in here. I was going to say, I don't know what's in here, but I am so glad that Real Ralph and Mika Boo chose this restaurant out of the three that we gave them. Because I really like Louisiana Fried Chicken and Seafood. It's one of my, my favorite chicken spots here. So, mm -hmm. yes, honey. That was out. So, we got some cheesecake. Oh, my goodness. That's my favorite dessert. I don't think I ever said that on the channel. I don't know. I don't think I've ever said that. Cheesecake is literally my favorite dessert. That is crazy. We got some fried fish, fried shrimp. Yes, honey. Chicken wings. Yes. Got a roll. Roll. Oh my goodness, this is so good. And it comes with their good dipping sauce here. Kind of like a remoulade. This is another of the same thing. Yes. With Oh, it's some fried, look like some fried okra down in there too, y'all. Okay. We love fried okra. We do. I am super excited. Y'all, when we were watching other people do their videos, we were like, this is like Christmas. It is. You open and stuff, you don't know what's in it. What is this? I know, it's so fun. That's green beans, Green though. beans too, some honey. green beans. Honey, we about to eat good. Two orders of green beans. Ooh, look at you. And sauces. So y'all, we're gonna get yeah, this. Yeah, this too. We're gonna get this all set up, and then we'll be right back. Yes. And we back, y'all. We are back. So, correction. They accidentally put one, <laughs> one uh, fried the okra fell in there. But yeah, yes. y'all. Chicken, Super fish, excited. shrimp, green beans, roll. Yes. Yes, Ready sir. to dip in. Got some hot sauce here. Diamond red cayenne. I don't think we've ever even tried that. I don't know, but I'm, I think I tried it and I liked it. Well, we about to go in on this, y'all. That's what we had the other day. We found some cayenne red pepper sauce. We was like, where did we get this hot sauce from? It must have been from them. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm excited. What you going in with? Sorry. Oh, and I got a Barks root beer. I have a Diet Dr. Pepper, which I love. It tastes just like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm going in with a shrimp. Piece of chicken, y'all. Mmm. Mm. That food's good, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you in Houston, maybe you got to get Louisiana fried chicken and seafood. It is so good. It's seasoned good. It's fried Always. good. Crispy. Just mm. delicious. Mmm. It's actually two. It's two. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. I like everything from all the restaurants we gave them. But this is my favorite of all of them. And I was secretly hoping, <laughs> hoping that they chose that one. Hoping they would go with this one. Okay. And lo and behold, they, they did. They came through. Came through. 
show it up and show it out. Mm-hmm. And I am thrilled, honey. Super, super thrilled. Mm, so good. I'm be eating on this all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And their green beans are not overcooked. Right. They're good. They still got some uh, pop to them. Some punch. Yeah. Because like, we never had their green beans. Because a lot of times at some of these places, y'all know, they'll overcook them green beans. Mm-hmm. And they lose their texture. Mmm, this is good. Mm-hmm. It's good. I don't even know what to go next. I'm going with a piece of this fish next. I'm going to try this cayenne pepper hot sauce. I don't remember what it tastes like. Hmm. If I could open it, y'all. I'm tripping. Okay, open it. I am just blown away by the fact that they got cheesecake. They got a cheesecake, y'all. I'm telling you. Everybody, not everybody, but people who know me like personally know that I'm not a big sweet eater, and when I do eat sweets, my my favorite dessert is cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Mm-hmm. I like others and some other desserts too, but I'm always gonna be in the mood. I cannot be in the mood for sweets, but if you got cheesecake, I want cheesecake. Like that is so cool. Mmm. It ain't my favorite, but I like I love cheesecake. What's your favorite? And it's strawberry cheesecake too. I know it's good. Mm-hmm. My favorite this kind of pepper sauce, good. Mm-hmm. My favorite cake is red velvet cake. Mm. What's your favorite like pie? Kentucky Derby. Mm, I think you made us that one time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, my grandma used to make that when we were growing up. Every Thanksgiving and or Christmas. Really. Wow. Mm-hmm. So. So it's nostalgic too. When I became an adult, I learned how to make it. You know, I never had K- Kentucky Derby pie until hubby made it. Hmm. He made it before we were married, huh? When we still dating, we made that. Mm-hmm. And he brought it over. I think for like he brought it over for something. Let me tell y'all something. This was when I met her kids for the first time. This was Christmas. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can talk it's good. also when I learned they don't really like sweets a whole lot. <laughs> Made them a whole pie. Four people in that house and probably like two slices got taken out of that pie. <laughs> what kind of kids is that? Mm-hmm. Mm. You were there. I'm the most sweet eating person you in the house. Mm-hmm. You don't remember that pie? It was a chocolate pie. You were there though. Mm-hmm. Mm. This food is so you probably good. would have won the eight to two slices. <laughs> mm. I'm about cookies too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I made cookies. So what, I like. so what y'all eating on? Mm-hmm. What y'all eating on today? I know y'all eating on something good. Cause y'all always eating on something good. Put it in the comment section down below. Hmm. If you are in the Houston area and you've had Louisiana fried chicken and seafood, let us know what it was like for you and what you like to get from there. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. can never go wrong with it. Never, honey. And they cook it when you order it, y'all. Mm-hmm. So, you're not really going to walk in there and find stuff warming up, you know, under the warmer and all this stuff, kind of stuff. Fresh, hot. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. This is a really fun, exciting challenge. I, I really like it. Uh, Sam's table. Thank you for putting this challenge out there. Because it was a real fun one. It does feel like Christmas. You're like, oh my God, what do I have? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? 
Y'all mm-hmm. ever had this hot sauce? Red, a diamond red. Cayenne pepper sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I haven't eaten all day. We haven't eaten all day. Cause we were saving our appetites for this meal, of course. Y'all ever think YouTubers be lying when they say that? <laughs> they ain't ate all day. I don't think they be lying because if you're a mukbanger, you know that you're going to be eating a larger amount of food on your video than maybe you might normally eat. I know. Mm-hmm. So, you're going to want to save that appetite. Mm-hmm. So, you wait until you watch that video and then you do it. And then you eat. Hmm. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know all of y'all have checked out Real Life and Make a Boo. Probably if y'all have not, go check them out. Lovely, lovely couple. I instantly liked them when I first saw them. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you that? I still like them. Mm-hmm. There's something about them. They're some nice people. I could tell. I, I could feel it. I could sense the spirit. I was like, wow. I like them. I we used to people. watch them, y'all. When they were sit, do their mukbang sitting on the couch mm-hmm. and eating on the coffee table. Mm-hmm. I know. Now they sit at a table with a green screen. Mm-hmm. Like us, we used to, um, oh, if y'all go back to my early videos, we just couldn't figure out. We couldn't mm-hmm. figure out. Our very first video, we were in this same spot, but we were sitting on the floor. Around the coffee we table. We pulled the coffee table over here. Because it was all of us. Except Caitlin. So it was four of us. Yeah. And we sitting on the floor, all squeezed up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to go back go back and check that video out. We did that one time, huh? Mm-hmm. And we said, this we, ain't I, we can't sit like that. This me. I couldn't fold my legs up like that. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah. That was the most uncomfortable video ever. Mm-hmm. You remember that, Kayden? Kayden over there laughing. Y'all also need to go back and watch our video to see how small Kayden was. Y'all really don't have much to compare it to because he doesn't want to get on the video now. Y'all, <laughs> within a year, it's like this boy to look and sound like a whole different person. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny. Taller, more hair, deeper voice. Much deeper voice. My goodness. He's taller than all the women in his house now. He's taller than me. He's taller than both his sisters. Like, within a year. And voice deeper than mine. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Voice is deeper than mine. And the boy only 14. So we talking about he going to grow more and voice going to change more. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy he might be out there like Barry White y'all <laughs> you know who that is <laughs> mm, they got some good shrimp it's so good hmm. we tearing it up too mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. I wish I, I, I may have a whole lot of them. Mm. I wish I had another roll. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Their roll's little, y'all. Mm-hmm. What you gonna eat all of the in this chicken. city? The chicken? I'm gonna save my piece of chicken and eat another piece of fish. I might eat all the shrimp. You want some, some, some thigh? Like that thigh. Yeah. Mm, good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. We hope real well for Mika Boo. We all eating right now, y'all. At the same time. Yeah, I hope they enjoying their meal. I hope well. they enjoying their meal. Y'all go over there and check out what we ended up getting them. Yeah. And y'all, I said you in the Houston area. I think Louisiana fried chicken and seafood is in other places too. I don't think it's Texas. Or, it's a Texas. It's not a Texas restaurant. It's not because uh, 
Cause for who owns it? <laughs> he crazy. <laughs> so check to see if you have one of your earrings. You actually might. I put some hot sauce in the green beans too, and they're good like that too. It's good. I like putting hot sauce on my green vegetables, green beans, broccoli, sometimes asparagus, even kale. I need to start using my pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. I use that. I use that once, y'all. I'm about to stop. You about to stop? Mm hmm. I'm going to eat the rest of this fish, probably one more piece of shrimp, and then stop. I'm smooth it. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I am going to uh, taste the, the cheesecake on here. Mm. So, we can let y'all know what that tastes like. Because I ha that'll be a first for me. I have not had their cheesecake. <clears throat> so, I'm going to hold to that. Boy. We're about to go in on this cheesecake, y'all. Wait. Y'all check it out. Mm, I might sit here and eat like half of this. <laughs> mm. Look, y'all. I know he just showed y'all, but I'm gonna show you too. I'm digging in. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so good and creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. That's one thing about cheesecake. You got to get that texture right. Mm -hmm. And they got it right. Mm. It's so good. It's good, y'all. It's delicious. I'm not going to eat it all, though, because I'm full already. Me too. I'm going to save something later, but this is so freaking good. Thank y'all real right for me, Kalu. This was an amazing challenge. Mm-hmm. Shout out fun. to Tam. Food is delicious. Yeah, shout out to Tam's table. Shout out to Tam's table for creating this challenge. Shout out to Ace Eats and to More Eats for challenging right. us. Shout out to Real Mouth Ralph and Mika Boo for partnering with us, even though they already did this. That reminds me, y'all go back and watch Real Ralph and Mika Boo's other Order For Me challenge video where they teamed up with CJ and Sharice. And make sure you watch CJ and Sharice also. Watch their order for me uh, video. And um, didn't CJ and Sharice do it with somebody else too? Teenly TV. Mm-hmm. So y'all make sure, y'all go back and watch all the order for me challenge videos. Right. Okay. Um, shout out to the Man Cave, bro Man Cave Brothers. CJ of CJ and Sharice. Ralph of Real Ralph and Mika Boo. Um, Low of the Tony Family. TJ of Emory Family Entertaining 7, Debo Vibes, Dre of Tripping with Dre and Michelle, and Trey of Trey and Nene. Y'all make sure y'all check out all them channels. They are linked down in the description below. We will catch y'all on the next video. T&B Nation out. Bye.